In this video, I'll show how to set up a custom domain email for your Shopify store. A professional email like support at yourstore.com helps build trust with customers and keeps your business communications organized. I will show you the free method to create a branded email for your store. Let's get started. On the Shopify dashboard, visit the settings option. Then select the domains menu. In the domains page, select the primary domain for your Shopify store. Scroll down to the email forwarding section. Here you can see Shopify already created an email address with your store's domain name, info at your store .com. If any customer sends an email to this address, Shopify will forward the email to your store's admin email address. In this video, I'll show you how to create a fully functional branded email address that you can actually send and receive emails from using your Shopify domain. This method works if you purchased your domain directly through Shopify. If your domain is registered with a third-party provider like GoDaddy, Namecheap or others, check out this video on how to set up branded emails for an external domain. The domain name for this Shopify store was purchased directly through Shopify. I'll click on the switch to email hosting button to set up our custom domain email. Here I see two options, G Suite and Zoho Mail. G Suite is for Google Workspace. If you want to use Google for your custom email addresses, select this option. With G Suite, you can access your emails directly using gmail.com. I have a video on how to set up a Google Workspace account. But you need to pay for Google Workspace users. Since we need a free solution, I'll go with the Zoho Mail option, which offers 5 custom email addresses for free. Here you can see the forever free plan option. You will find the link to this page in the video description. Let's quickly sign up for Zoho Mail. I'll click the sign up now button. I'll fill in my details. I'll click the sign up button. It sent an OTP to my email address. This is the OTP I have received. I'll enter it here. I'll click the verify button. Welcome to Zoho Mail. Since we have the domain with Shopify, I'll select this add an existing domain option. I'll enter the domain name here. I'll enter the name of the organization. I'll select an industry. I'll click on this add now button to add the domain. Now we need to verify the domain. I'll click on this proceed to domain verification. Here we can see it provides the txt name and a txt value. But Shopify requires a code to verify the domain. So I'll change the txt option to C name. Now I'll copy this code here and I'll paste it here. I'll save it. You may need to wait for a few minutes before the CNAME propagates correctly. Let's try it. I'll click on this Verify CNAME record option. The domain ownership is successfully verified. We need to create an email address with the custom domain. So I'll create the address as support at permination.com. This is the first email address we need to create while setting up Zoho Mail. We can create more email addresses later. I'll click on this create button. Here I can add more email addresses. Let's add one more email address. I'll click on this add button. I'll add the first name, notification. For the last name, I'll add my shop name. So this will be the email address. I'll change it to notification at permination.com. I need to create a password for the user. Now I'll add the user. We will use this email address to send the notifications from the Shopify store. I'll click on the done button. I can create three more users for free here. Let's complete the Zoho mail setup first. I'll click on the setup groups button. I'll go to the next step. When I verified the domain with Zoho mail, Shopify automatically added all these records for the domain. So I don't need to add these records manually. I'll click on this verify all records button to see if everything is correctly propagated. It says the DNS records may take a while to get propagated. I'll click on the OK button. I'll go to the next step, email migration. I'll not migrate anything here. I'll go to the next step, go mobile. I'll go to the next step, setup completion. Let's go to the inbox. I'll skip all this. This is the first email address we created with Zoho, support at permission.com. Now you can access this email address via mail.zoho.com or you can download the Zoho mail application on your phone and they also have an application for the computer. Our custom domain email is ready. Now we need to set up an email address for the notifications. On Shopify, when I go to notifications, 
Here I can set up the email address for the notification emails. We created an email address for the notification. I log out from this account. Now I log into the email account which I have created for the notifications. I'll click on the next button here. I'll enter the password. I'll skip this. This is the address we created to send the notification. I'll copy the email address here. On Shopify, I'll replace this sender email with our new custom email address. I'll click on the save button. We need to verify the email. I haven't received the verification email yet. I'll click on this resend verification button again. Shopify did not send a verification email because the address is linked to the Shopify domain. It automatically verified this new email address after a few hours. Now the notification email has been changed to this notification at permission.com address. From now on, all the emails from this store will be delivered from this email address. If you want to set up automated welcome emails for the subscribers, then watch this video. With Zoho Mail, you can create up to 5 email addresses for free. And you can use these email addresses like your regular email. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.